Hello, happy Tuesday everybody. Uh, it may not be Tuesday for you, but it is for me, therefore. Um, today I'm going to make a carrot ginger soup. The main ingredients are carrots and a lot of ginger. And um, I'm going to make that uh, substantial with onion and uh, some garlic. I have uh, a whole lemon that I'm going to squeeze in there. I took the peel of half of it. And then I have four small bay leaves. I have one guindilla or little uh, dried red pepper, very potent. I'm going to add some uh, 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 flakes of smoked paprika. They come from Spain. Uh, you can get them actually at Whole Foods. Uh, I got these at uh, Whole Foods. And then <coughs> I'm going to uh, flavor the soup with a little bit of liquid aminos. This is a really wonderful soy sauce alternative. It doesn't taste like soy sauce at all. It tastes more like um, Maggi, the, or what in, uh, uh, very often in Southern American cuisine and in Spanish cuisine is called Jugo. Um, uh, uh, Maggi is a brand and, and, and it comes in uh, certain kind of bottles that I can show you right now because I don't have it. But anyway, it's, it's very, very flavorful. And I'm also going to put some vegetarian bouillon mix in uh, mushroom flavor. Um, this is a wonderful uh, product that uh, um, gives a lot of uh, extra flavor. I'm also going to put in some uh, Korean sweet potatoes. They're not yellow uh, or orange. They are actually white. Um, and for balancing all the sweet flavors, I'm going to put a green pepper in there. And um, uh, uh, I'd say a good cup and a half, two cups of uh, coarsely chopped uh, celery and celery by the way is fairly high in sodium naturally so uh, uh, having said all this I can cut down on the amount of salt that I actually need to add I boiled myself two liters of water and this soup is going to be extremely easy I'm just going to fry up the onions a little bit and uh, once that's done when they're, once they're caramelized a little bit and limp I'm going to add everything else at the same time and the water uh, that's boiling and uh, my flavorings and then I'm going to let it basically boil for about 40-45 minutes. Take the blender, stick blender, and make it into a nice creamy soup. I promise you it's going to be delicious. So on a medium flame, I'm just well, caramelizing my onions. I'm not going to let them get very hot and glassy. And I'm uh, actually not that they're All covered in oil. By the way, I'm cooking in uh, avocado oil today, but you can use any kind of other cooking oil. Um, somebody asked me why I make so much soup. Well, to say it in the words of Campbell, or uh, if you wish, the dead Kennedys, soup is good food. And, uh, you know, when I make a large pot like this for myself, or uh, when I'm with my husband, uh, this basically gives me food for the entire week and obviously I'm only eating it for lunch or for supper not both um, but these kinds of soups are hearty and you can basically eat them any any time of the day so I uh, I'll leave it at that um, I'm going to let this uh, cook a little bit uh, get nice and hot and when I start smelling that the onions are roasting at that point uh, I'm going to add all my other ingredients so this took about uh, two, three minutes. My onions are uh, now becoming brownish. You don't want any black spots. So at this point they start to sizzle. You need to uh, give them a little bit more of a stir. And we're simply going to add all our ingredients. Doesn't matter which order. It's all going to cook anyway. So there go the carrots, large chunks, the sweet potato, I'm going to add the ginger, the garlic, I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir, and by the way, I'm keeping the spicing of this dish rather simple, aside from the fact that I just ate curried lentil soup for an entire week. 
I uh, deliberately go spicy, less spicy. And this week, I want to have the flavor of the ingredients more than the spices. But this soup, by the way, is also very good if you make it with ginger for a more Asian flavor. Uh, this way it's going to be slightly more, well, I guess mixed between European. Mmm, there's the smoke. Oh, that smells good. So, that's about, let's say a teaspoon of the hot paprika. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of my bouillon powder. A little splash of the liquid aminos. No more than a tablespoon. Add my lemon. Oops, careful not to get the pits in there. It does need to come out. And those lemon pits are not nice to eat. I'm going to keep my hand under this one. You never know. Sometimes lemons have no seeds whatsoever. And this one had way too many. And it's taken revenge on me having skinned the whole thing and there's another one out you go there we go okay oh, i see another one yeah you guys are insistent there we go out. No lemon seeds. Forbidden. Okay. Very last you put the water in. Don't put the water in first, because otherwise you splatter all over. And that's very simple. You let it come to a rolling boil. So I'm going to put it on high with the lid on top of it. The moment it starts boiling, you turn it low and to the lowest setting possible on your stove and you set the time for about 40-45 minutes and then uh, you're going to check all the ingredients for their doneness if they're not completely done you do it another 15 minutes but i promise you on this stove they're going to be done in 45 minutes and then it's just a matter of stick blending and you're ready to eat so the 45 minutes are over and uh, the ingredients are soft i'm going to uh, puree it some people don't like pureed soups and in that case what i always recommend cut it a little bit smaller and then you can eat it chunky so there we go i was going <coughs> slow first so i'm done and right now it says a uh, nice consistency it's a little bit on the thin side but i like it that way you can always make thicken it with a little bit of potato starch or rice flour or uh, i don't know it's it doesn't really need it it's a fairly thin soup uh, it's delicious with croutons or some freshly cut uh, peppers some some fresh onions red onions um, your fantasy is the limit great with the sandwich as an appetizer uh, or a first course and uh, this came out a little spicy i have to say so probably next time i'm going to forgo the guindilla because the smoked paprika flakes turned out to be a little spicier than i thought but uh, well i like spicy so if you don't leave out the guindilla the little uh, habanero pepper and that's it Bon appétit.